What's up guys, uh, Joey Sam's here, and uh, welcome to episode 3. I uh, On episode 2 I talked about this uh, weird dream I had, and also uh, I had another dream last night, it was pretty, I don't know if it was a scary dream, I mean I guess it was supposed to be scary or something, but it wasn't too, too bad. There's a fucking little zombie down there, fucking dumbass. Anyways, um, what it was is... There was me, my mom, and my little brother, and we we were like moving into this new house. It was this big ass fucking mansion, and it was creepy as fuck, yo. And so I remember uh, like on the first night we had this fucking maid there, and he was like, I I guess I woke up in the middle of the night, whatever. Well, not in real life, but on the dream I woke up, and I went to the kitchen to get some fucking Mountain Dew, and I don't know why, because I always drink my Mountain Dew out of a can, but like I fucking. I opened this uh, this glass bottle of Mountain Dew. It's kind of like one of those Coke bottles, or whatever. And I like I poured it into a glass, and then our maid she comes out uh, and she like she comes into the kitchen. She's so fucking hot. She's like she looks like fucking Jessica Biel, like like the exact same. But she's got like I don't know. She's just fucking hot as shit. And like she had this fucking black latex suit on for no reason <laughs> in the middle of the night. And she was like, "You want me to pour you a Mountain Dew?" <laughs> I was like, like I, I just like my my fucking jaw dropped, and I was just like, yes. <laughs> so she picks up my glass of dude that I already poured, and she fucking throws it away. It fucking pours me a new glass, and then while she's pouring, she's like bending over and she's trying to make me all fucking horny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but then I start fucking walking back to my room with the Mountain Dew in my hand, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like I'm walking through this fucking hallway and then it's some like no reason the hallway starts fucking stretching and it goes like pitch black but I could still see this little light at the very end and it keeps fucking going so I'm like fucking sprinting my Mountain Dew is like fucking spilling everywhere I'm trying to get there and then all of a sudden like the fucking lights turn on and I'm like sitting in my fucking bedroom and it's like what the fuck how the fuck did I get here and so I'm creeped out and I, I like go to my brother's room and he's just sitting, I don't know, I forget what he's doing. I think he was, like, watching TV or whatever. I went in there, and then my little brother was like, shh, you're going to wake them. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he was like, you're going to wake them, they're sleeping. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And so, he, like, he's, like, talking about the fucking demons and shit. And I was like, I was like you're a little fucking psycho child. Shut the fuck up. And then he's like, uh, he's like, you don't believe me? And then, so he, we go into this room. Dude, this is so fucking weird. And it's, like, this little... I guess it's a furnace, but it, it doesn't work, so we go in there, and we sit in there, and we, we lock the door, and these these fucking, uh, these fucking monsters start fucking coming at us, and they can't break through the thing, and so I freak out, and I grab this little fucking butcher knife, and I didn't want to open the fucking cage to fucking let them in or whatever, so I start fucking, sta- I start stabbing through the little fucking holes, <laughs> and I'm like stabbing these fucking monsters, and they're going, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> so funny <laughs> and then and then Gun's like do you believe me now and I'm like shut the fuck up those are fucking demons we're gonna fucking die and then, and then he's like it's okay the little boy will come protect us and I'm like what the fuck are you talking about now alright so there's this little fucking little kid right and I don't know I don't know if he's good or bad but he's fucking creepy yeah. and so he comes out and he like he like so it's doing this little baby scream. It's it's so fucking scary. By the way, the little kid he looks kind of like the little Grudge, but he's not fucking Asian or I don't know if the Grudge is Asian or not. I haven't seen it in forever. Anyways, but he's fucking creepy and he starts like screaming, and I don't really know how to do it, but he's just screaming like a little fucking kid. And um, so I don't really care about this gameplay. This is mainly for the story. Anyways. So, the little kid, he's screaming and everything, and the little monsters, they get all scared, and they're like, Nye! and they fucking run away. And then he walks up, he opens the fucking cage, and he disappears. And then me and Gavin start walking, and uh, we go back to sleep, and I wake up in the morning, and all this. And then, uh, I don't remember what happens during the day. I guess, like, I think my grandpa comes over or something. Anyways, but, uh, dur- during the late afternoon, right before it was time to go to bed, my little brother wanted to show me something. So he walks over to his locked door, and he told me to put my eye through it. And I fucking put my eye through it, and I see this fucking empty-ass room. And then this little fucking, uh, like, I look over to the right a little bit in the corner, and that little fucking kid's, like, curled up in a little ball in the corner. 
and then he like s- starts to, like slowly put up his head. I don't really know how to describe, it, but like uh, the way he was moving his head was freaky. He was like having a little spasm. He's like, <laughs> it was so fucking freaky. And I uh, he like his head like snaps forward right at me, and he like fucking teleports to the front door, and he's like. <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck? And I fucking, like, I fucking ran away. I fucking ran to my room and I fucking, like, sat on my bed. I was like, what the fuck? And, uh, dude, it was so fucking freaky. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that story. Um, like I said, if you want me to uh, keep doing these little fucking dream stories, I guess, fucking I'll do it, because, I mean, I have, like, lots of dreams, because, I mean, I wake up in the middle of the night pretty much, like, three times a night, and... When I record episode 2, I literally forgot about episode, like, 3, like, pretty much the first dream I had, because I had had the dream that I had in episode 2. I had that one right after that, but I was about to play Call of Duty, and I just remembered it. I, I just I just started thinking about it, and I was like, holy fuck, I remember that dream, because I usually don't remember dreams unless it's, like, within an hour of me waking up, or if, I, if as soon as I wake up, I start thinking about it, then I'll remember it for an hour, but... If I don't, I, sometimes I don't even, like, I'll wake up and I won't even remember the dream. But, <clears throat> hopefully if I, uh, remember another dream and it's, it's pretty good, I'll tell you guys about it or whatever. <clears throat> so, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, uh, peace, yo.